Coach James Franklin just hired his sixth offensive coordinator this year. Why did he make the change? That was a big move, man. You think about Penn State led the Big Ten in points per game. And he scraped the whole offense. Right. He won, and the reason is is because you know I saw personally when Big Noon was at Penn State versus the Wolverines and against Ohio State, they didn't play very well. He wanted to go get a creative, aggressive play caller, and that's exactly what he did. He went to Kansas and got Andy Kolonecki. And there's three things that you see every time in his offense. He's going to throw the ball downfield, and Penn State needs to do that. Last year, Penn State was 130th almost last in the country in percentage of balls over 15 yards, guess who number one was? Kansas. Right. So he is going to push the ball down the field. Minimum, a couple times a quarter. He wants every couple series to get the ball downfield. Let's take a look. And you're also going to see the residual of throwing the ball downfield. This is, a, this is Aller's best pass of his career. It's a, we call it a snake route with a corner and a post underneath it. Watch as the ball comes out. This is excellent. Pushing the ball downfield. The ball's out, excellent pass before the receiver actually gets right. into his route. Second one, look at the time. Jerry, there's only 17 seconds left in the second quarter. This is the new version of the Penn State offense. He's going to rip it down the field. It's even a 50-50 ball, but once again, he wants to get the defense off you, and he wants a chance for these playmakers to go make a play. Penn State goes on to score here on the next play. This changes the whole game. And then finally... One of the issues that Nick Singleton, running back Nick Singleton, had a year ago, his biggest play, I think, was 20 yards for the whole year. Right. Why? Because there was no downfield threat throwing the ball, and the safeties squeezed the ball. You're going to see the receivers are going to be three by one. They motion across. Watch the defense. The defense all works to the receivers up top because they're worried about the pass, and here's Nick Singleton with right. a 40-yard touchdown. Nobody to front up the ball on the second or third level. The second thing you see with the Kolonaki offense is option football. Right. He's committed to the option, old option coach, same here. And one of the reasons you run option is you want to keep the defense honest. You can't play multiple coverage. You really got to be careful playing man coverage Absolutely. because you have to account for the quarterback. Right. So here, let's take a look. This is third play of the game. They put in their backup quarterback, by the way, heck of a player, man. Yes, he is. Great looking athlete. Bo Prabula, he pitches here to Nick. This is third play of the game. You will see option football be part of the Penn State offense. Second play, again, they put in Bro Pribula. Now, the interesting thing there, and you notice who that is up top there at the receiver position. That might be the quarterback. That's uh, Drew Aller. Drew Aller. <laughs> we got to work on his stance, bad-looking yeah. stance, Drew. we got to get that fixed. We're going to run option football. Why? First of all, you want to play. Second of all, you want to keep the defense on us. And that's going to be a new weapon for the Penn State offense. Coach, those are the first two. What's the third? The third one is multiple personnel groupings, and I don't want to get too much into that, but a big part of that personnel groupings is something called Wildcat. Wildcat was made famous years ago, and that is simply someone else taking the snap behind center, whether it be a backup quarterback, whether it be a tight end or running back, and that was a big part of their offense in Kansas. I think as that offense continues to go, especially with Nick Singleton, Catron Allen, you're going to see a lot of Wildcat offense out of Penn State.